Let's go ahead and talk about return values for methods. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new class. I'm going to call this one return value values. Hit that right there. Finish. Clear my console. Let's make a new method, just like we did in the last video. Mm, this one's going to be static. It's going to be void. And we'll give it a name, my method. And it's going to take... Uh, there's two round brackets right there. And our code block. Now, as I said, this void right here, this word void, means our method doesn't return anything. And that's fine if we have our method just do something like system.out.println and what's it going to print? It's going to print uh, this computer is lagging. That's what it's going to print. <laughs> uh, that's horrible. Um, okay. And then in our main method we just do my method like that. And that's just a call to the method so that it runs this computer is lagging now what happens if we change this what change this what happens if we change this to say int play proceed uh oh java doesn't like that uh let's see what does it say this method must return a result of type int okay so Let's let let's type something in here. Let's type in return four. Four is an int. Proceed. Okay. Now what changed? Well, apparently nothing. But we can have another use for this method right here. If we go my int equals and we may we set that equal to my method like that and we make sure we say that int uh, my int is an int we go and press play and look 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 at what happens my method gets run here but it also gets run here and my int actually gets assigned the return value now, how can I demonstrate this? I'm going to demonstrate this by separating this into two separate lines. My int equals my method. And I'm going to print out my int at both locations. Print line my int, like that. And I'll just go ahead and copy and paste that. And that that red squiggly indicates that my int isn't actually set to a value, so I'm going to go ahead and set it to zero at the beginning. Okay, so what happens in this program? My method runs once. It just does this. It returns four, but that four isn't used. I make the my int variable. I set it to zero. I print it out. It's zero. I say my int equals my method. Um, and then I put the round brackets and my method runs it does it says this computer is lagging and it also returns the value of four and this is how we assign the that return value to a variable we assign it to my int I proceed to print out my int and its value is four and this was just a simple tutorial of showing how we can use return values in methods